which does work. Yeah. Uh, and I think with the new seals and uh, our floor rails, floor rails that'll make it. It should be oh, stiff. Yes. Switch you, sir. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome back to another video of the MX-5 Restorer. Um, day today, Wednesday today. Got a few things to show you. Um, slightly different things. <clears throat> I thought I'd try and make these walk around outside a little bit more interesting rather than me just walking around point, pointing and talking. Um, right, so this white one here is coming today um, and it's got a sort of heavy lifter tick. So what I'll do is I'll just fire it up and you can have a listen. So you usually get, you know, we get a bit of lifted tick on them when they've been running in and out of the workshop um, quite regularly because they just don't like being started and turned off straight away. Um, and we, we do experience that quite a lot. But this one's a bit heavy, you know, it's quite a heavy tick and it doesn't go away. So we're going to be changing all the lifts and that. Fortunately, we took them out of the break that we broke uh, um, on Monday, so that looks interesting as well. We'll be trying that out later and see what that sounds like. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to capture that on video when we change those. Yeah, be interesting to see what we find in there. Hopefully it is just lift, a lifter issue. Um, what else out here? So, some, nothing really new to talk about. That one's in for a service, an MOT, I think. This is the Silver Jasper Conran we've got. Um, Jake's been working on it. You saw that last on the ramp with him doing the chassis rails. He's just, um, he's also cleaned up like the scuttle area, where they get a bit, you know, they get a bit crusty around all the fixings and stuff. So that's all just been cleaned up and repainted, all ready for when it's finished. Um, and then it'll be going on and we'll be doing all the rear seals and what have you. Ashley's doing a estimate for a customer. It's just popped in. Um, that 25th anniversary actually belongs to a friend of Chris's. Um, he's actually selling that. So that'll be somewhere for sale. It's nothing to do with us. We just um, He just wanted us to put the standard exhaust back on it before he sells it. Um, so yeah, that's all we've done to that. This camera is playing up, the gimbal's pointing in the wrong, not in the direction you wanted to drop, point in. Right, so, yeah, we've got something interesting on Grant's ramp, or a different issue, which we'll get to in a minute. Roy is doing rear seals and arches on a Mark III. How's it going then? Well, free territory. Du, 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 du. I'm loving it. Oh, right down the floor. So yeah, so it's been recreating this round here. Um, that is new because it wasn't there. And then you're doing outer skin, yeah? Yeah, I'm trying to do this. Oh, oh piece underneath, yeah. So, it's got the full rear top section jumping points. Yep. We'll be going in there. Next. Ooh. Um, same. Sweet. On the other side. Next, come on. We are doing whole arch, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing whole arch. Yeah. It's, it's identical this side, so although it was this good looking tank, it was just full of pinholes and yeah. you're never going to get beyond it. So, okay. we'll remake it. Alright, and this car's having a full repaint as well, isn't it? It is having a full restore. Yeah. It's quite nice this one actually, we'll show you under the box. It's been to BBR, it's got a turbo kit on it, isn't it? We'll have a look at that later or in another video jake is cracking on with this other mark three which is having i mean really it does need arches on this one um but customers only got so much of a budget so we're just doing seal repairs on it at the moment i'll come around the other side i can't get around that way what is this camera doing it's winding me up the camera Gimbal's not pointing where you want it to point. Yeah. I'm out of focus. You might have to get a new camera. Um, right, so. 
Oh, that's looking better. Yeah. Can you see now? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so the still end plate repairs. Uh, one of the fixing points for the arch liners was rotted out. We did um, Oh, you got that done in there as well? So yeah, similar stuff to Roy's, but only on the seals. And then all the same to do the other side, yeah? Yeah, same, uh, apart from we've got to cut out this little section here. Yeah, That's... we've got to rebuild that in, yeah. internally as well, haven't we? Yeah, I had to do the same to the other side. Oh, yeah. did you? In the internal side, yeah. Okay. But uh, we made a plate that actually wrapped all the way round and went in there and became the inner. Right, okay. And then I just got the new piece that would be sat here, tacked that to that panel and made it into one. Cool. Excellent. All right. Well done. Um, Chris is still working on the Laguna Blue one. Well, I'm actually doing some stuff on the mod. Oh, OK. These are the bits that um, hold the side spots on. And uh, it's over at the paint shop having stuff made. Like Chris, before we actually paint the side skirts, um, I want to mock fit these up. Okay. But they were literally painted in like PU adhesive. Nice. And and they were sort of bent, so I think that might have been from storage, and like getting warm. Yeah. That's yeah. warped, which I've I've de warped, and that's like, that's the one I've cleaned up. Alright. And only one had fixings, and I found the other fixings. So, yeah, this one. So, this one. <coughs> well, we had a concern about the sill on the other side, didn't we? Where we thought it might have had a seal, but we've, yeah, we so don't it believe it has. A seal, no. So, it's basically they've, they've added welds to strengthen it. Um, so it, it it's quite a common practice that we've seen in the past where people stitch weld between the spot welds, and that's, that is what's been done because it is the original seal, but we've got we've got repairs to do. Um, that'll so, be carried out on both sides. Yeah, I've got to do more cleaning up, but I've essentially cut things out. Um, that's where there was an issue here. Got to do something with that. Um, this is actually all pretty clean in here. The rust pretty much stopped. You look in there, it pretty much stopped at this point yep. here so this is this is quite far um, and it's quite a long way to come down but um, it's, that's where it needed to, to come yeah. to really. and we're going to put our floor rails on it as well aren't we yeah floor yep. rails are being changed in a good clean up and, uh, I mean this is this is I mean some of you will be looking at it that know these would be wondering what they are it's because it had the have you got those braces again we've seen this quite a few times Sort of an older school way of strengthening them up, so we'll be cleaning them up, and they'll be. They, we will put them back on because they may as well go back yeah, on, won't they? I mean, the mountain points for them are there. <coughs> so basically, you've got that. Then they weld these in. Up like that, yeah, which does work, yeah. Uh, and I think with the new seals and that, then our floor rails, floor rails that'll make it, it should be oh, stiff, yes. Switch you, sir. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm I, what I'm actually doing is cycling myself up. Are you? Yeah, because I've, I, I mean, I well, you, you, this needs you haven't done welding for a year. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to sort of. I can, do it. I, I can do it, but I'm just going to be a bit rusty. <laughs> <laughs> With that note, I'm off. <laughs> so, yeah, so that car has already been sold um, and we had an agreed works, but obviously, at the same time, if we find anything else that is an issue, we will deal with it because we want to make sure that the car is sold on in a state that we're happy with. So, you know, yes, we agreed to do rear seals, arches, but anything else we find, we will also deal with. So, um, because the car needs to be, you know, there's been a price that's been agreed, 
and the car needs to reflect that value. So it's not like we can send it out and say, oh, we only did the rear seals, you know, we only agreed to do the rear seals and arches, but we found this other bit of rust and we left it. That's not what we're about, so it gets done. Um, Grant's been having fun. So you saw this, you saw this one, hang on, you saw this one um, in the last video where he was doing a patch on the cylinder plate. Um, bloody camera, work. Um, in here, which he's done, and he was cleaning it up for an underseal. And what happened? <laughs> I started getting wet, and I thought, I can smell petrol. I thought, put that fag out. <laughs> it was petrol. Yeah. yeah cleaning up the. You uh, turned into a real petrol neck. Ha ha! Jeez. Anyway. Yeah, um, so you cleaned a bit of crusty area off the fuel tank. Oh, have you got, got a torch anyway, Grant? Uh, yeah. Exactly. On your heat? My heat. heat torch. Yeah, so the tank was looking a bit crusty. Just yeah. touched an area there and out sprung the fuel. So we had to drain the tank and now it's having a new tank. Yeah. Customers are aware. Um, yeah, I think we saved him from a serious problem. Because, yeah. I mean, that would have happened in a yeah. month or two anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah, quite possibly, yeah. I mean, it's not like you started digging at the tank, you literally just brushed it with a wire brush. Handheld wire brush. <laughs> and, yeah. And, and there it was, fuel. Yeah. All right. If only I could have a comb over, but you know. <laughs> anyway. All right. Thanks, folks. So, yeah, that's, that's, um, that's quite a big job, that is a fuel tank on a Mark 1 or Mark 2, because the fuel tank is pretty much the first thing that goes into the car. So, um, so yeah, so. What we do, what he's going to do is try, we've done it before where we just obviously take out the power plant frame, um, exhaust, and then lower the subframe, sort of an inch, and then you can sort of turn the fuel tank out and get it out, uh, which saves us then obviously re bleeding all the brakes and all that sort of stuff. So um, that's what he's going to try and do. Hopefully it'll work. Save the customer a bit of time and money. All right, guys, so thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.